Okay, today we are going to reload some 308. And I do my 308 as a precision reload. I track every little detail that I can so that I can gain the utmost accuracy that I can find. Basically what I'm going to start, I'm going to start with some shells. What I'll usually do is I'll do a little cleaning on these, make them nice. And then I'm going to give it a little shots of lubricant. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to size that case and deprime it. Now normally a progressive press you just keep right on with the loading process, but I don't do that. So I go through and I'm just going to deprime size my cases. Okay, so those are those are ready to go, right? Well, I'm going to take these I'm going to take them over after I've gone through my lot and I'm going to tumble them again. Typically I use corn cob media for the final polish and I'm going to clean all that lubricant, all that stuff off of there so that I have a real nice case. But I'm going to skip that step if you'd like. You can watch some of my other videos. I actually show the tumbler and, and how that all works. After I come back and I have some cases all polished, ready to go, they're really nice. These are the ones that we're going to load up. So uh, the other thing that we need to make sure of, and I'm not going to go over it now, but the sizing of the case. One of my other videos has us case sizing. It's a good thing to make sure your cases are exactly the same length every single time. You can have stuck cases in a chamber and stuff like that, and it's not a good day. So size your cases. Uh, this one's sized, ready to go. I'm going to go through the loading process here and show you that. Okay, before we get too far into this process, I, I want to explain uh, the dangers inherent in reloading. This, you're, you're dealing with firearms and things that are dangerous, so know your equipment, read your manuals, understand how to reload. Basically what I'm doing is I'm teaching somebody that's already reloaded maybe some of my techniques. Uh, I use Dillon products. I love Dillon products. This is a 550B. Typically when this press is set up you have an automatic powder measure that throws your powder. It is very accurate but when I go into 308 or like my 300 Ultra I'm very particular on the powder so I do it all by hand. Um, one thing that's cool about the Dillon press it also has an automatic priming system. So I'm taking my pack of primers and I like to use these little flip trays and that sets all my primers and if I shake it it tips all my primers to one side usually pretty good there's a couple being stubborn and then I use a pickup tube and I'm gonna pick up these primers I'll pick up the ones that didn't turn first okay now I can use a cover to the tray I flip them over and now they're all the right way now I go through and I pick up all my primers. Okay, this is this is a Lyman powder measure. This is the way I do all my precision powder measuring. Um, basically, this is a trickler and a, a, a measuring system. So basically, what I can do, I can put my powder. My powder goes up here. It looks like I need to get a new can out. And then I can set my grains of powder. So I want 40 grains of powder for this load. So it tells me 40 grains. And then I can tell it to dispense. What it's doing is it's trickling and it's going to measure the exact amount of powder that I need and stop. The other thing that's cool about this while it's doing its thing here, you can program in your loads. So preset powder, you know, quantities and you can just recall that memory typically I just type it in when I'm doing it see it took me right to 40 it tells me I'm done so now I've got 40 grains of powder and then to repeat the process all I do is hit enter each time and it automatically measures my powder the other thing that's cool about this is it's got a counter so it counts how many throws of powder it's created Okay, so back to the press. We're going to take our measured amount of powder and we're going to pour it right into that case. With the case up, it's ready to be powdered. 
put that over there, have that start getting some more powder for us. And we have a primer come up, so I can put another case in there, prime it, and then I'm gonna go to the next station. Now here, my bullet seating depth. So I put a bullet, and we've already covered in another video precision depth finding. So what I do is I take a smoked bullet, and you can check that out in another video to create my depth. Here at this point, we're gonna seat that bullet. This one's ready for powder. We have a powder charge. I'm gonna powder it, and we're down. And we're gonna prime the next one, next case that's ready to go. These again are already sized cases. And we're just repeating the process. So we're gonna seat that bullet. This bullet's getting a crimp. This bullet's getting seated, and we're gonna do a powder charge. It basically it goes pretty fast, and I didn't push the button to get a powder charge. So we're gonna wait just a second. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we got our powder charge. And that's all there is to it. We just keep repeating that process until our rounds have cycled all the way through the press. And we have completed precision 308 rounds.